Unless somebody else wants to do it. Go Hello, for Twitch. it. Hi, Hi, Twitch. Hi, Twitch. Welcome to Cyberpunk, Twitch. I'm Arky, playing Red Eye. I'm Jason, playing Cavalry. I am Shannon, playing Zara. And she's faceless. Not on stream. <laughs> oh, not on stream? No. Nope. Oh. Oh. Sneaky, sneaky. Can't... She doesn't want us to see us, but the world can see us. <laughs> see her. My camera looks better directly uploaded to OBS than through Discord. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Kind of makes sense, though. Oh, I hi. Guess. I'm Scott. I'm the game master for tonight. <laughs> we're playing Cyberpunk Red. Uh, tonight, we're going to be playing an, a free adventure that was written by the famous, the infamous, John John the Wise, who creates a lot of uh, cyberpunk um videos for youtube so he's uh much better known in the community than we are right now and i yeah i've read this before uh, i've run it once before and i think that this is going to be a particularly good match uh of the story to uh this group of players but we're not starting on that immediately first uh -oh. Calvary is going on a date. Oh! Because of a uh, very because of a good uh, conversation role, I think it was <laughs> a couple of sessions ago. Um, he has a date lined up with one of his contacts, a hotel heiress by the name of Vivian. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Grace, which means I'm going to have Red Eye and Zara trying to <laughs> either sabotage you or... Know it, bitch. <laughs> well, you know by now that your agent has been hacked by Red Eye. Are you bringing yes. your agent with you? Okay. All right. Bringing the agent with you. Well, okay. I'm going to need you to roll some dice here uh, to see... To see how well it goes. Yes, uh, among a few other things. Are you going to... <laughs> uh, are you going to a, take her to a specific location? Or are Fuck you... a slice. You want to <laughs> roll the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that is an excellent question. I figured maybe I'd let her pick. <laughs> okay, rolling it is. <laughs> Roll me a ten sider, please. Just a ten sider? Yeah, just one ten sider first. A nine. A nine. Okay, Which you're going probably going to the uh, <laughs> futuristic version of a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's either the outskirts or the hot zone. Uh, the hot zone is the part of the town that's uh, still suffering from radiation. <laughs> from well, that sounds war. like a perfect uh, place for a date. <laughs> I think that uh, the, those two are the city. Part of the outskirts. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go to the outskirts? Because would that be close to maybe wine country? <laughs> Yeah, uh, closer than there, but uh, yeah, in that direction. <laughs> Cavalry doesn't want to have babies with three eyes. Okay. Be my luck would be three legs. Okay. Now I would like you to please roll me a six-sider. Let's see what Vivian's interested in doing. Since you're getting outside the city limits. A six. A six. Your date says that they know where to find a secret waterfall. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, somebody's scoring some brownie points here. I'll make sure I bring one of those bottles of uh of uh of the liquor that I I uh 
kept. Drinky, okay. drinky. You kept two bottles, right? Was that? You kept two bottles, right? Um, actually, I kept all of the bottles that I that uh, that was portioned out to me, so that way we didn't flood the market. Roll me a ten cider. On a one to four, you're going to have a good date. On a five to eight, you're going to have a not a bad, but a weird date. Oh boy! And on a nine or ten, you get stood up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be awesome if he got stood up. <laughs> and ten. <laughs> she didn't even have the common keys. <laughs> Decent decency <laughs> to show up for the date. Oh. If you spend one of your luck points, um, you may uh, re-roll that, if you like. <laughs> I will do that. I will re-roll. <laughs> okay. A six this time. Okay, that is a weird date. Now we well, have a would weird be with date cavalry. table. <laughs> no. Okay, scroll up past all of the good dates. We don't want any of those. Something <laughs> off about the vibe. Roll me a 1d6. Let's see what happens at the beginning of the date. Six? At this waterfall. Your date has a lot of cybernetics. A dangerous amount. They might be sparking. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that well, then maybe explain why she's black and white. <laughs> <laughs> she's That's an android, cool. dude! Run! <laughs> Yeah, she does complain a little that um, uh, her firmware needs to be updated. <laughs> um, it's, uh, her, toxic, her toxic filters smell funny. They make a, a product for that. But... <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> this is the high class yeah. lady. That's what she turned uh, into. <laughs> yeah, it's a combination of a uh, high class, yeah, high class lady with uh, Jason's bad rolls. Okay, oh, middle of the day. Wow. This, even though I'm rolling high, which would normally be good in in Pathfinder, yeah. it doesn't seem to be so good in Cyberpunk Red. Yeah. So that means yeah. my bad roll dice, <laughs> rolling dice, followed me. Understand, all of these outcomes are bad, but the higher you roll, the worse they get. <laughs> he set you up okay. for failure. <sighs> roll me I a set myself cider. up for failure is what it is. <laughs> roll me a six-sider, please. Oh, gosh. Six. And uh, Red Eye and Zara are monitoring this, I'm quite certain. One. Ooh. Dude, 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 dude. She's, a, she's an android. Fucking run. Fucking run! <laughs> I don't know. I think that he could probably score pretty good on this date. You know, bedmates with batteries work out pretty good. Actually, this one... She went there. This one is... Yeah, uh, maybe you did want to roll high on this chart, because this oh, is bad. <laughs> Her head explodes. <laughs> Vivian excuses herself to go to the bathroom and never returns. <laughs> to powder her nose. <laughs> Either start the date over at the beginning with a different date or stop dating for a while. Oh, uh, I think I'll stop right. dating for a while. Stop dating this bitch for a while. Yeah. Calvary, what did you do to that lady? I have no Turned idea. Turned her into an android. <laughs> Did you completely fuck our contact? I mean, not not literally, he did. Not figuratively. It would have been better if he had fucked her literally. <laughs> that would have been 
Yeah, yeah, that would have been. Um, so wait a minute, how the well, fuck is, how the fuck does better. she drink the vodka then? <laughs> I want that bottle back. <laughs> She probably didn't get anything into her system yet. Well, uh, this could be a, a future um, plot hook because uh, she took you to a secret waterfall outside of Night City that you didn't know existed. And you're a local cop. You thought that you knew uh, where everything was. And then she excuses herself to go to the restroom. And there is no restroom here. It's, it's a, a waterfall out in the wilderness. <laughs> And then, even though she didn't have, even though you drove and she didn't have a car with her, she somehow vanished <laughs> and uh, sent you a text message that said uh, something came up, had to go back to the hotel for business. <laughs> She's rich, dude. She probably called the car. <laughs> that or else a helicopter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or a drone. Yeah. You'd think that you would have noticed that helicopter. <laughs> or if an air car, even more so. They're louder. Well, that's <laughs> true. <probably. laughs> now I'm depressed. Sad panda. Too far. <laughs> uh, oh, um, I'll, I'll take my agent out. Red Eye. What happened? Zara, I know you're listening and you're probably even watching. Yeah, dude, that was. I. I don't even think I. I don't have that in my being. That was pathetic, Cavalry. Oh, shit. I didn't even get a chance to take off. What's wrong with me? <laughs> do I do I, do do I spend too much time at work so I'm like completely out of touch with things? You got no game, dude. No game. And you work a lot. And you work a lot and you couldn't even score with an Android. I hear what <sighs> ladies like when you're present, which sounds stupid to me. <laughs> Well, she was sparking, so you've got <laughs> an excuse. You, Spark you flew, though. Ego, she was having... <laughs> Maybe she'll call you back after she gets her shit together. Okay, she's sitting there with a fucking screwdriver going, I wonder <laughs> if he wants to go out again. <laughs> uh, it's all too far, I went monochromatic. <laughs> I would suggest not calling her again immediately. Uh, yeah, if I ever call her again. She's still a contact. You've, you've called her before to help with uh, missions, and she was willing then. So. Uh, she, she, she at least showed me a, a, a really nice secret waterfall area, so I think I'm just going to sit here... <laughs> With my bottle of alcohol <laughs> and no food. God damn, he's a pathetic bastard. Do they have DoorDash? <laughs> Not at the secret waterfall. <laughs> I'm going to call Buck a slice for you, bro. <laughs> and I'm just going to turn my. I'm going to turn my <laughs> agent off. You think that's going to stop me? As far as I know, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I'm the not trying runners. anymore. I, I accomplished what I needed to. Okay, uh, Netrunner Hustle. Would uh, Red Eye like to roll a six-sider, please? Let's see Sure. Uh, during your downtime how much... Uh, since you don't have any hit points to regain, and you don't have any armor holes in your armor to patch... Let's see if you can make some money. I forgot how much we made last time. A lot. I got it written down. That would so be a, a six. Five, Scott. Five. 
Big number. Okay. And you are I made currently one dollar. <laughs> you one are idiot. a rank five net runner. You ooh brought down a small brought down a major system with ransomware and got paid to uninstall it. Three hundred Euro bucks. I put last um, game's total in the chat. Okay, day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. In the Cyberpunk channel? No, in the literal Twitch chat. Because I can't click out oh, of Discord oh. right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, there you go. All right. Look at that I'm beautiful going... number. <laughs> Should have rounded it up one cent. <laughs> Okay, I do know for a fact that we had um, at least one person uh, listen to uh, the YouTube copy of the last game. Because uh, he was planning on running the same adventure tonight that we ran a couple of weeks ago. So he said he was going to listen to that at work. So We have a listener! Nice. On the YouTube side. And on Twitch side, we have Thor. Hello, Thor. <laughs> Hello, Thor! Hey, Thor. And the Umbrella! <laughs> oh, the umbrella's on there too. Yeah, she's in the chat. Oh, cool! I need to open Twitch. <laughs> uh, Zara, would Ms. Direction please roll a six-sider? Let's find out what Zara was out. able to make out. Okay. Five. Five. As a rank 5 solo, you attracted undue attention and had to lay low. So it wasn't a big month. wasn't a big week for you. Yeah, I think that's what I got last time. <laughs> I tend to cause problems, apparently. <laughs> but you did manage... But you did manage to scrape together 100 eddies. Hmm. Maybe you found it between the cushions of your couch. Found it between the cushions of somebody else's cat. Beat someone up for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, in that case, it's a 100 eddies and a gogurt. <laughs> nice. And somebody's tooth. I took somebody's freaking <laughs> lunch money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, um, hi, Uniting Abyss. Uh, because uh, Zara does get a call out of the blue on her agent from Vivian. <sighs> is that does the, she answer the date person? Yes, it is. I answer. That's the person who ghosted Navarro. Okay, she says. Oh, hello, Zara. Um, Navarro is not answering his agent. I think it's broken or he has it silenced or something. Do you know what's going on with him? Well, ever since you left him alone at the waterfall, you broke his little heart. And so he turned his agent off and is sitting there drinking booze by himself. <laughs> Oh, well, hmm. Um, all right. I'll send him some, I'll, I'll send him some flowers. Uh, Biotechnica delivers. But, uh, in the meantime, uh, one of my clients has an urgent need for some hired muscle. And I thought that, uh, your group, uh, might be interested. Unless you have something else going on right now. How much? Oh, pretty well, pretty well. I'm. You don't call somebody with a job without an offer. <laughs> He's. I have it in the notes here. Um, seven thousand euro dollars per person. <laughs> we'll take it. Up to four people. Oh. Oh, very well. I've. 
I wasn't sure if that was actually enough for you to uh bo to bother with, but. Well, you know, the first couple jobs is at a lower rate, and then once we have you hooked, we up it. Rents do, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Well, his name is Harold Hefferton. Hefferton? And he... We'll call him Heffer for short. Yes. Um, he's a uh, very... Oh, shit. Uh, Sorry, Zara. Very, very... But his client is currently staying in a, one of our luxury suites here at the hotel. And he needs someone to escort his client this evening. And who's the client? I'm not supposed to discuss that. It is against hotel policy. But you'll find out when you arrive. Okay, great. See you in a bit. Click. <laughs> and I will call Red Eye. And yeah! Hey, uh, how does 7,000 euro dollars sound for each of us? You were listening, right? I mean, let's be real. Let's be real. I was. <laughs> okay, so Harris Hippopotamus has a client we need to escort. You didn't hear me say we shall call him Heifer? Uh, no. No. <laughs> um, and Calvary has his agent off, so could you, like, hack that shit or send a drone his way or something to get his mopey ass up and about, please? That'd be great. Yep. Yep, let's do it. Thanks, Red Eye. Bye-bye. Bye. I wrote down the calling. correct name, by the way. <laughs> calling calling Boy Scout. Boy Scout, are you there? Yeah. You could have Ooh. sworn that you turned your agent off, but it's ringing now. <laughs> we, we, leave me alone. Uh, hey there, buddy. We we got a job offer. That's nice. How does seven thousand eddies sound? Hey yo, it's a job from Vivian. <laughs> She asked about you. She cares. Sober the fuck up and let's go. <laughs> Get some coffee, shit. Coffee? I like coffee. I like macchiato. Do we I have like espresso. Oh, Can we send the... We, or something? we need to send him a car. I like cappuccino. He took the he took the limo. <laughs> oh, but Jesus. yes, you can send a you can send a combat cab to pick him up if you don't want him to drive. Well, someone's gonna need to get the damn car. I'll take I'll take a cat. Oh, can you give me his coordinates, please, Red Eye? And I'll take a cab and pick up his dumb ass. <laughs> Shooting coordinates now to pick up Captain Dumbass. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's, um, it's out in the Badlands, um, just, uh, south of Night City. We lost the Scotty Mc... Scotty Too Hotty. Well? Uh-oh. I can hear you guys. Your I'm talking video. There you go. All right. I'm gonna stop playing yeah, I can with hear my you. phone. You just couldn't... Yeah. I was going to post an image off my phone, but... I will resist. I, I shall resist. So, yeah, you've got the coordinates. Yeah, it's this weird place on, uh, uh, not far off of Morrow Bay. Never I hacked in. Before, but there's a dirt, but there's a dirt road that goes there. And you get there, you find the limo, and, uh, Hey, there's Calvary. Uh, uh, is Calvary 
um, in the limo? Is he uh, laying on uh, the hood and watching the aircraft go overhead like Wayne and Garth? He's, he's sitting in the... Just sort of. He's sitting I'm just kind of sprawled the... out. I'm actually on top of the roof of the of, of the limo. Just kind of okay. sprawled out. be in the suicide seat. And if if you were to look at the bottle, you'd see that like maybe only four or five shots is gone. <laughs> <laughs> you lightweight. Wait, <laughs> is cavalry hugging the grenade launcher that you installed on the roof like it's a body Probably. pillow? Probably. This is my only friend right now. I have a camera inside look or that's on top looking at him and I'm just laughing at my laughing my ass off at him I'm gonna punch him in the shoulder and say get in the limo we need to go Jesus Christ you're pathetic what is that like five shots I had three I uh (laughs) I weigh less than you and I can handle more than that shit this is good stuff, though. I look at Red Eye, and I say, we gotta get this dude laid. I ain't doing it. Well, <laughs> I mean, by somebody else, obviously. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Calvary, the get captain. in the limo, or I am taking your girl. The cab driver says, hey, I don't there's a concert. Have... I'm missing out business. I'll pay him. How much does it cost? Oh, the kid, uh, that it's part of your living expenses. Okay, great. Then I will pay him and say, shut the fuck up and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hack. I, will... I want to hack his car and make it break down just because he was an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, for expediency's sake, I'm going to say, uh, nope. Uh, this one's not hackable. It's uh, just an old clunker of an engine with basically no electronics in it. And, but it has great fuel efficiency going downhill. <laughs> I'm going to take the keys off of Calvary, and if he doesn't get in the limo, he can ride on top. <laughs> Oh, uh, where are we going? She going, wants her damn money. We're going to see your girl and get 7,000 eddies apiece. I don't have a girl. Vivian said that she was trying to contact you, probably to tell you what happened. She's a rich, busy lady. So she probably She's gonna had an send... emergency. She's going to send you flowers. Mm-hmm. So you can salvage this if you can pull your dignity out of your ass, and we can go. Oh, that's not where I thought you were going with that, Zara. (laughs) Dig? 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 Uh, What's that? He's standing in the way of my money. So do I know where he keeps the keys? They're in the ignition. I'm going to get in and start it. And rev the engine. Like, I'll give him one warning. <laughs> it's a limo. There's a, there's a sunroof <laughs> that he that he could climb through. What are you doing, Calvary? And then the, the sunroof would have been open, so I'm just going to kind of <laughs> shimmy over to it on my stomach and kind of drop my head in. If you puke, Where are we going? If you puke in here, you're cleaning it up. If I puke in here from witnessing you being so pathetic, you have to clean it up. <laughs> if I puke where I'm at, you're cleaning it up. <laughs> and we start driving to the hotel. Okay. Uh, traffic is a little heavy tonight, uh, but not to uh, the degree that it's going to require any dice rolls. Sure, you don't um, want that. Could be quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. 
Yeah, I'm certain because uh, we're going to do that later in the story. <laughs> oh, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> okay, you uh, return back to the Hotel Sterling. And um, uh, Vivian meets you in the hotel lobby. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do that... Um, I'm concerned yeah. that he they're going to see the state of Calvary and say that we're not up for this job. Is there any, like, stimulants or anything we can give him to knock him out of this three-shot drunk? Oh, heck yes. You get... There are... Um, every vended machine on every corner um, sells a variety of uh, stimulants to all of the booster gangs. Okay, uh, you can get something as strong as a uh, a cup of black coffee, or something that involves um, cavalry going to have to make uh, some uh, <laughs> die rolls to avoid instant addiction. Give him, give him, give him, give him some crack, Zara. Give him some crack. Let's start with a cup of coffee, and I will, I will. S- Stow my uh, anger. I will try to be as patient as I can to sober him up. So I'll give him a cup of coffee and see what that does. Is it an actual cup of coffee or is it just more like an injection that's, that uh, uh, has the effect of a cup of coffee? It's like uh, one of those... Uh, pull the tab, and uh, uh, the cup uh, heats itself. <laughs> nice. A little, um, little uh, cup of uh, what uh, claims to be coffee. I wanted uh, to inject him in the neck. <laughs> spelled with three E's. What it actually is, <laughs> you don't know. It's highly caffeinated. <laughs> How you feeling now, Calvary? Uh, Give him another one! I feel like something (laughs) ran me over and I didn't get the license plate. Her name was Vivian and we're on our way to see her now. Oh, why? I think she had an emergency and she really cares about you. Do I have a lie roll? An emergency. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure that he. I'm sure that he believes you. She called me, Calvary. She got screwed. <laughs> she said she regretted to have to leave you. It was the best date she's ever been on in her entire life, and she can't wait to immediately go on another one. Are you sober? Can we go get our money? Doubt that. Got any like something for a headache? Is there anything in that machine for a headache? Yes, there is. Also, as much of a variety as you want. <laughs> I Can I get stab him, him in the neck? <laughs> stab him in the neck. Pick something out. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Red Eye just coming up behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, this is one of the uh, strips that you put on your tongue and instantly dissolves. And yeah, um, it makes you yeah it makes you feel a little bit uh, uh, numb in your fingers and your feet, but um, and you it it. up the headache. <laughs> okay, my head feels better. I can't feel my fingers. You don't need to feel your fingers. What happens if I have to shoot something? That's your problem. <laughs> okay, so uh, cavalry is walking in a straight line. Um, <laughs> not that, not that good at stopping, but uh, he's, but uh, he's presentable now. Uh, you're not. Sh- Sure that you want him to do the talking. I say, I'll, I'll be given the silent treatment anyway, so. 
I'm I'm still miffed. <laughs> He's gonna look like the boyfriend scorned. I'll stand here. Okay, moving things along. Uh, <laughs> Vivian meets you in the lobby uh, when the three of you show up, and she says, "Oh goodness, uh, I'm glad that you're. I'm glad that you made it here on time. I apologize for of." Uh, well, I apologize for everything. Uh, business has been uh, quite something today. And uh, one of our most important clients is in a tizzy. Uh, but uh, that's about to be uh, your problem, your very lucrative problem. And um, I hope that it will be fairly easy for you. You see, <laughs> Not with have... this crew. We have a singer who is staying with us uh, to keep away from the paparazzi. Uh, She has a concert tonight, and uh, she is in sudden need of someone to escort her to the concert. There was some sort of contractual thing that happened between her agent and uh, the security agency that was on retainer. Um, I don't know, but Harold has the details. Uh, you're going to find him in room uh, 2001, and uh, the elevator will take you will take you there. Uh, they've rented out the entire floor, so you'll be able to you'll be able to find them. And Harold will be expecting you. He will has he be all of the standing details. next to a big metal monolith. Uh, oh, please don't call her that. She's very sensitive. <laughs> she just got rid of all of her cyberware, and uh, she's been in rehab for it. That what would be... What the fuck are we walking into? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I was just trying to make a joke. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> She's going through this entire organic phase. Uh, you'll understand when you meet her. But um, the concert is soon, so I'm going to message Harold and tell him that you are on your way up. And uh, Officer Navarro, uh, I do apologize. Um, maybe... Well, maybe your night will get better. And now I have other business to get to. Good night. And she shuts down. (laughs) (laughs) Bing! She lied about the flowers. She did lie about the flowers. Yes. I would be like, where the fuck are my flowers? Either that or there is a nomad currently driving out <laughs> into the Badlands all by himself, armed with a bouquet of flowers. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Cavalry. You killed some poor bastard. <laughs> Pretty much uh... even odds. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll... I'll saunter over to the the elevator. All right. I'm mimicking his walk behind him. <laughs> which, which which wrestler is that from? I don't know. Oh, I just made it up off the top of my head. Okay, had a picture of the apartment in here that I'm going to post, but um, the elevator ride up is long and boring and plays music as you go. This music is boring as shit. <laughs> oh, why don't you do something it about it? Play some like Bloodhound Gang or Tenacious D. 
I think I will. I'll just stand back in the corner. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there's not going to be a roll necessary for that. Uh, uh, it's not going to be a Wi-Fi connection. You are. It is one of those uh, situations where you have to run a data cable um, in uh, from your cyber deck into the machine. Uh, but it is easily hackable enough. What are you playing? Play the best song in the world. Tribute. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Okay, so Tenacious D it is. And we probably got muted because I sang that. <laughs> <laughs> Not a short enough. Okay, um, you do notice uh, that when you're um, inside the elevator's uh, music uh, files that it is set to uh, when somebody approaches uh, the floor where you're going to to uh, switch from its normal collection to a to the newest album that is by the pop singer Ultimate Sparkles. What is this shit? My ears From... are bleeding because I'm a hipster. From the By the Power of Gaia album. What's the rock star's name? Mini Sparkles? Ultimate. Ultimate Sparkles. Oh! I better get that right so we don't get in trouble. <laughs> and... Uh... Well, uh, Red Eye wouldn't know because this isn't her taste in music. Uh, but the other two might know that uh, Ultimate Sparkles uh, is supposed to play a concert somewhere in Night City. I, I know Cavalry's fangirling out. <laughs> no, Zara wouldn't no, get a Zara crack. <laughs> He's going to play it off actually... like, I found out that they they needed security help for it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, a bunch of the guys now at the, the station okay. were hoping to be able to security. <laughs> detail on this all right the uh, elevator door opens up into a uh, very lavish uh, apartment and uh, there is a man uh, who's uh, sitting by the window and doesn't even look up when he hears the elevator answer he just just waves you over. Is that Sparkles over there? Nope, this, this is a dude. Oh, my bad. Is it Harris Hippopotamus? Yep, probably is. <laughs> I'm gonna go up and say, uh, we're looking for Harris Hippopotamus. <laughs> is there a heifer in the house? Oh, uh... uh. Um, he still doesn't look up. Uh, he's just, uh, going, he's just going, uh, through, uh, something on his tablet, and he says, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, close enough, close enough. Uh, you're, uh, the people who Vivian recommended? That's us! I'll just smile. Ah, oh, very good. Uh, he puts down his pad, and he says... And he rubs his face, and he says, oh. All right, uh, here's the situation. Um, my employer is the singer Ultimate Sparkles, and she is scheduled to perform at the McCarthy Center um, this evening, only about an hour from now. Uh, the opening act is already playing. It's the Liquid Schlitz, and uh, 
The crowd is only going to listen to them for so long before rioting. Who They're this... back from the dead, baby. Who put this bill together? That sounds like terrible billing. Worldcom did. Mm, that makes sense. <laughs> the liquid I'm shit. sure that you <laughs> Are awesome. You've never heard of them. They were big in Japan. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, you know a Worldcom. Um, uh, most of your agents are probably were probably built by Worldcom. Worldcom. It's one of the uh, most important mega corporations in Night City, and it is also the and it is also our producer. Uh, Worldcom is our record company. And earlier this afternoon, Worldcom fired our uh, security detail. Uh, we've had... Um, damn out. Uh, the Game Master forgot the name of the company. <laughs> Paragon. Palladium. <laughs> Paladin. We hired pa uh we've had uh Paladin uh work our security for years but uh Worldcom is just has become um so unreasonable ever since uh our client has uh switched to this um uh he uh pro environmental uh, theme for her newest album so you go and uh, uh, there you wouldn't believe all of the meetings and all the migraines and all the uh, well I'm worried because there have been death threats there are always death threats and I need so I need someone to protect and drive my client from here to the venue. And it's just going to put my mind at ease. I don't want to throw her in a combat cab. I I don't want her to uh, take the bus. I just want someone who can watch out who can watch out for her. Uh, you're welcome to use the tour van. Uh, the tour bus. It's parked in a uh, hotel parking. Um, if any of you, kn please tell me that one of you knows how to drive. A look at Calvary. I can drive. I mean, I drove here, but you know. Oh, thank goodness! I'm uh, trying to negotiate a new contract uh, with. Uh, a competitor and uh, Danger Gal it cannot send anyone over to help us until the end of the concert. I just need someone to get us from point A to point B. My drive land I vehicle is a plus five. So if you got better than that, otherwise I can drive. Nope, I'm good. I got a nothing in it. I got a six. Well, Calvary should probably drive. He's sober enough now, right? I'll drive. I'm pilot. Oh. I can fly. <laughs> I I don't hear any objections, and I start walking towards the car. Um, <laughs> that's a rather long, uh, long drop to to get down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Where are we again? Twentieth floor. I'm sorry. Or two thousandth floor. <laughs> some guy just started droning on, and I fucking fell asleep, and I forgot where I was. I would recommend that we do not take the tour bus because that would be too conspicuous. Fortunately, we have an armored limo parked down oh, yes, uh, yes. out in the. Yes, Vivian mentioned that. If that's available, do that. 
Yeah, that thing with the armored uh, thing, do that. Please, do that. All right. Pepper, we'll do it. Where's your client? Or where, where, where's <laughs> Ms. Sparkles? Uh, she should be here by now. She is, where's uh, Big Sparkles? She's getting into costume. Oh. Okay. And I go okay. back and to my, my agent. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to keep her costume safe, right? If she gets there in one piece, that's good enough. Oh. Please, I'm barely holding it together here. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't give me these worst case scenarios. But yes, yes. Sorry, Mr. Hippopotamus. Yes, I want, yes, I want her. Yes, I l I'll, allow I me to specify. I don't want her there intact. Christmas. I want her there alive and unharmed. When you say I unharmed, mean, what exactly do you mean by I, that? Red, 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 red eye. I, I mean, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> And then Ultimate Sparkles walks in. Now, you know this fan art that we received? Yes. Okay. Um, I just reposted it in uh, the Discord channel. And uh, the uh, chick with the wild hair is the NPC who walks into the room now. That is the pop singer, Ultimate Sparkles, um, sporting her new look. And uh, the dude with She's the uh, cyber bags under his eyes, uh, that's Mr. Hefner. Mr. Heffer, right, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I told All you right. that I was going to put this, <laughs> told you that I was going to put this illustration to good use. I just think it's cool we got some fan art. <laughs> So, Ultimate Sparkles all walks into the room, and uh, true to her stage name, uh, her outfit is composed of glowing, uh, sparkling artificial crystals. Uh, most of them are uh, glued onto uh, the gown, but some of them are hovering uh, an inch off the gown. I whispered to, to Zara. Mold of diamonds. <laughs> it looks like a bedazzled gun gone wrong. <laughs> Did you say bedazzled or vid or vajazzled? Bed I, hope, I hope we can't see her vajazzle. I said bedazzled, <laughs> but vajazzled works too. <laughs> that's a that's a th thing I think. I'm into a lot of crafts, but I'm not into that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's then we got to add that to our vernacular for our shows. The oh jazzle. boy! All right, who's doing the speaking for the group? Not now me. that uh, the now that the talent has walked into the room. Ms. Sparkles, I understand we're on a a tight <laughs> a tight schedule. So if you would follow us to the elevator to go down to uh, our vehicle. <laughs> oh, you're a Scorpio, aren't you? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Blessings to you, and may your chakras radiate. With the goddess's wisdom this night. Oh, namaste, bitch! Okay, you know what? I am a spiritual person, and that makes me throw up. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get your chakras there in one one piece, so we get our money. Who's paying us, by the way? Is it Hippopotamus? <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, Hippopotamus is, raises his hand and he says, uh, yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm the, she, 
she's the talent, but I'm the client. I'm paying this out of my money because I'm going to have an aneurysm <laughs> if this doesn't if this doesn't work well. Okay. Are you are you coming with us? Concert of the tour, please. Okay, whatever. Uh, that's weird. All right. If we do an amazing job, is there a tip involved, perhaps? Is it? Oh, oh. I I thought. I I thought that the the price was already agreed upon. No, she told me on the phone that if we did a good job, and got her there safely, there would be a generous tip for each and every. You one would of give us. us. You would give us a fifty percent tip. Whoa. Well, I know that Zara does not have a business skill. <laughs> so I remember that from last time. So let's have her roll a uh, deception. Or I negotiation. Don't Your choice. I have that. Do you have and persuasion? She doesn't have the humanity have to do persuasion. that kind of deal. Okay, roll persuasion then. Persuasion eight. He's going. Yeah, uh, he's going to counter with his business skill that he does have. Fourteen and I'm total. Going to, and I'm going to give him a one point bonus on this. Oh, I rolled terrible, but it's still got a fifteen. I'm just standing there <laughs> smiling, waiting to he hear said, get a tip. He says, uh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 grab a, t a concert t-shirt when you when you get there. I'm gonna, <laughs> my face is gonna drop and I'm just gonna, like, give him a dirty look and walk away. <sighs> yeah, and he's already making another uh, phone call. Yeah, I'm done with All him. right. He's already, he's already forgotten that you guys were there. Typical. Just the if we can get going, <laughs> his eyesight. How about we lose the client and just say we got her there? <laughs> that would hurt your reputation. But yeah, oh. that's a, no, that's a okay. I, I'm trying to build my reputation as a as a good mercenary, so. <laughs> All right, so uh, you going uh, straight to the limo? Yes. Okay. Did you leave the limo with valet parking, or did you park it yourselves? Knowing Cavalry, we parked it ourselves. I would think I parked it myself. Okay. Just because I, I don't want to pay someone else to park it for me. I already wasted a bunch of money getting Cavalry sober. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going out through the lobby at uh the same time as um the uh, uh well-to-do uh business executives and uh they're uh, even and all of the old money are coming into the hotel uh for various reasons tonight uh many of them are wearing the new dripping wet fashion that is all the rage across night city I created uh, yeah. that. I created yeah. that. Yes, uh, wet t-shirts, uh, wet three-piece suits, wet nice evening boobies. gowns. Nice One of the... Yeah, uh, one of the hotel staff... Uh, Are you cold? ...stopped here in front of the door, and... I bet he's cold. Uh, uh, steps uh, right in front of Red, Red Eye and says, Oh... Uh, your suit looks very dry. Would you like me to spritz it for you? You spray anything on us. It'll <laughs> murder you. I'm not here. We don't have time for this. I, I was just staring him down. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much well, I paid uh, for this? Successful. That was a successful intimidation. So uh, the spritzer girl uh, walks away uh, with her uh, a bottle of tap water. Yeah, she's cute. Keep on walking. Damn, boy. 
I hate rich Damn, people you. so much. I really love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that statement gets a couple of looks. <laughs> I don't care. Out the front door. Okay. Zara would not care. Oh. <sighs> but uh, security is adequate um, here. Uh, you're able to walk straight to your limo, and it's exactly the way that you left it. Uh, the McCarthy Center, however, is um, it is in the same part of town. Um, it's just off. It's actually in the University District, so it's uh, just off of Old Europe which is uh, the neighborhood that you're in right now. So it's only a few kilometers away. It's like five miles. Uh, but uh, you have to go through a lot of stoplights between here and there if you take the direct route. Road warrior, baby. Red Eye, is there any possibility that you would be able to insure us Green lights all the way there. Well, that depends. Are you going to be Cavalry the Cool Rogue? Or are you going to be the douchebag Boy Scout that tells me, don't do that again unless I'm with you? When has that ever stopped you before? Yeah, good point. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna make. I, I want to make it to where, where all the lights are green for us, and then I'm okay. gonna turn them all green so it causes an accident. <laughs> Behind us, after we right. pass it, right? After we get through, crash after oh. crash. That will be an entertaining roll. I look forward to that. <laughs> uh, First, Ultimate Sparkles walks around the limo, and she says, Oh, this is authentic dirt. Yes. You have touched Mother Gaia. Girl, I'll show you some authentic dirt. I whisper to Zara, she's going to be eating dirt. She don't quit talking shit about my car. She's rich. Rich people suck. I I love authentic, artisanal, organic dirt. And she rubs her fingers over it. And draws a flower. You scratch, she's scratching the paint, Red Eye. She's scratching your paint. <laughs> I'll open the... We're kind of in a hurry, so if you can please... <laughs> He's I'm trying not, not to have a, have a conniption fit right now, if you can't tell. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. Oh, yes. Uh, Jupiter is high, and um, uh, many souls uh, need to be open to the Mother's Light this evening. You may open the door for me. Already there. <laughs> and she gets into the limo. Which, <sighs> as far as I remember, you did not vomit in. Nope. You said that you might, but you never declared that you did. I did Good. not. Good job, Cavalry. That. We should have rolled <laughs> to see if he vomited. And then made him lick the, the, it up with the, his the, tongue. The, the fresh <laughs> air, like, kept... kept me uh, from being okay. completely nauseous. All right. Um. Hey, Red Eye, let's do this die roll. Um, okay. Do you want to do this as an interface roll? Sure. This is not going to be a full net dive. Right. Uh, but you're just... Okay, but uh, I would like you to roll your D10 plus interface, and I'm going to set a random difficulty here of... Ooh. Ooh, you're not making that. Let me roll again. <laughs> Good call. 13.
I want to use and remember, one of my luck points. Okay. Remember, you have to beat the DV. Okay, I want to use. I want to use. Why two did of you my, do it that way? I don't know. But, okay. I want to use two of my luck points to get a fourteen. <laughs> All right. That is adequate. You have seized control of all of the stoplights on on your route. Green for us. Which, Are we ready to go, Red range, Eye? Yeah. Because of the range of your equipment, technically you shouldn't be able to do that, but some of the characters in uh, a short story in the rule book managed to do it somehow, so I'm allowing it. <laughs> I'm the greatest hacker that has ever lived. Everybody can please ensure their seats are in the upright position. All trays are in the up and locked position, and all seat belts are engaged. We will be off. I want to. I want to go through the sunroof to see it. Oh, I like the positive energy. I'm just gonna sit with sparkle, darkle sunshine. <laughs> Ultimate sparkles and just stare at her. Yeah. <laughs> Got the drive leather driving gloves. <laughs> Sunglasses. Even though it's nighttime. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, you guys make great time on the way there and uh We've been at I'm this playing. for almost an hour and a half now. Does anybody need a short break before the action starts? I'm good. Okay. All right, then. Um, Do you who need exactly? a break? Green light for you. Okay. Green light for you. <laughs> Green light. asking. And I listen for the cars crashing. Okay, so uh, Red Eye's not driving, and uh, Zara is in the back, so that means that Cavalry is driving. The guy who we thought would be the last person to drive tonight. He's sober. <laughs> Ish. Well, good enough. He only, had, he only had three shots in the first place. It's as much he thought he was drunk as he was drunk. <laughs> Okay, I so cavalry uh, is the first to see this happening. Um, there is a pickup which drives up uh, behind you um, as you go oh, as uh, you go as you drive towards uh, the now green light on the intersection of McCarthy and Third Street and. Uh, there are a couple of guys who are sitting in the back of this pickup as it accelerates past you, and they look a little shifty to you. Yeah, Red Eye! Senses are, are, are thinking, um... Red Eye! Ready the grenade launcher! <laughs> Did you say ready the grenade launcher? Yes, I think we may need it. I'm gonna look <laughs> at Calvary and be like, um, just for shifty looks? Yes. Targeting computer comes on? I'll get my <laughs> bow out and I will look out, well, look towards the shifty people and just, uh, can I do a perception on them? Uh, sure. Uh, you can do a perception. I got a lock. Can I fire? Not yet. <laughs> Keep that solution, though. Okay. Whoa. That's good. All right. Um, the... Okay, a couple of things happen simultaneously. Uh, first of all, Zara gets a read on these people. Um, these look like a, a couple of uh, fairly large dudes. And... Uh, they have the uh, cropped hair of uh, the military cut. 
and they are wearing what what could be Kevlar body armor. And you say yeah, that, that because they're both wearing yeah, because they're both wearing uh, identical solid black t-shirts. Permission to make it go boom. <laughs> Do I see any glints of of weapons being drawn? If they have any, it's down in the bed of the truck. Hey, but no, uh, not in their arms. Their arms. Sunshine. Do you know who's off. after you? With their arms crossed. Sorry. Anxious. Oh, no one wishes ill upon me. I'm just going to laugh in her face and then go back to looking at the dudes, the shifty dudes. <laughs> Do I have permission to fire? I'm going to take that as a call for an initiative roll. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> roll, please. This is going to be your reflex stat plus a d10. Twelve. Sixteen. Twelve. You guys also get sixteen. Okay. Um. I'm. I'm going to give uh, Navarro the benefit of the tie here. So uh, nothing has actually happened yet, but you get to move first, which makes sense because you're the one driving. I am going to not stomp on the brakes, but I'm going to brake enough to get more gap between us. Okay. That's going to help. Uh, because uh, immediately after you do that, uh, one of them uh, uh, stands up into a half stand and tosses a spike strip in front of the limo out of the bed of the truck. Red eye, now you can fire. Um, <laughs> it's got to be my turn first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was my uh, to yeah. that. that's a good reaction. Cavalry, uh, oh. you're going to. Oh, and I didn't roll for Ultimate Sparks initiative. She's going on a nine. <laughs> About right. Okay. <laughs> uh, Cavalry. Uh, right now, on their initiative, I need you to make a driving roll. Oh, Lord, we're in I battle. We're in trouble. It's drive land vehicle skill, which I think is... That didn't look like a good sign. Yeah, you're going to need a 15, but uh, you get two extra points because of because you just slowed down. 17. Do that for a hair second. Okay. So with a, a some squealing of brakes and a little bit of drifting, uh, this limo is able to. Uh, is able to uh, slide to the side and miss the spike strip entirely. Punch it, Chewy! <laughs> <laughs> now, the other uh, guy in the back of the uh, pickup truck, uh, he picked... Uh, he reaches down between his legs and he pulls out an assault rifle. Yeah, somebody's compensating and points it directly for something. and points it directly at the limo. But he does not fire this turn. I start talking okay. to Zara. You see, when I yeah, set up it's... the weapon system, <laughs> I put <laughs> the firing control under F, but it's not for firing. It's uh for fuck off and die. I can see that. So I'm just waiting for Boy Scout here to give me the permission to press the fuck you, fuck off and die button. Snell! Snell! 
<laughs> okay, Red Eye, you are making a, a heavy weapons roll. That's your reflex plus your heavy weapons skill, and I don't think you have any points in heavy weapons. So I do not. Your reflex and a tin cider. So and... my reflex. And I need to look up uh, your DV at this range. Because it's a fairly significant range. I, I just almost saw Thor's this. comment. Sparkle, darkle, sunshine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Thor. Um, at any point tonight, uh, you may designate and uh, tell one of these guys that uh, they may make one specific roll uh, with advantage, like in D&D. <laughs> so you roll two ten fighters and uh, choose the and choose the better of the two rolls. Nice. But Thor, you decide which roll that's going to be. Okay, grenade launchers. Uh, this is uh, going to be at least fifty yards. So you're going to have to roll a seventeen. Higher. Oh Jesus. Okay. Or, uh, wait, wait. Cavalry, you're driving. Yeah. You decide how close these two vehicles are. How about that? We're going to be about five yards from them, right? I was going to say about ten yards tops. Oh, good. Okay. Ten yards. All right. You have to roll a... Red Eye has to roll a 15. To hit them with this roll. But that's... Yeah, actually, that that's a little too close for the assault rifle. That's going to screw up their uh, counterattack. I got a 17. You got a 17! <laughs> Woo! 66 for the damage. How many? 6d6 six is what I've got on my sheet. Six of those six siders. All right, so. Holy smokes. Yeah. 16 points of damage. Okay. Did you ro were two or more of those come up as a six on the die? No. Okay. All right. If I say yes, that then something cool happens, right? <laughs> but but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest and say no. None of them were sixes. <laughs> okay. Probably not. If you only got sixteen. Uh, that's still a good chunk of damage, though. And, uh, their car is not armored like your car is. And here's the really cool part. Uh, this is the Militech Cowboy U-56 grenade launcher that you guys got. Uh, it has a rate of fire of two. So, uh, Red Eye gets to do it all over again. <laughs> Uh -oh, right. I lost Red Eye. No, you didn't. Am I still here? Oh, yeah, I hear you. You're still here. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I'm think. I'm thinking heavily. <laughs> He's trying to do math. It's late, and I am trying to do math right now. <laughs> you said I had to get a 15, right? Yes. All right, I'm gonna use. Yeah, two grenade more. launchers are not precise weapons. I'm going to use two more of my luck points. Okay. To get me to 16. <laughs> All right. Um, Zara, I, you're probably not going to even need your crossbow at this point. <laughs> uh, roll up, I'll just roll uh, up protect another. Sparkle Darkle Sunshine. <laughs> That's our new name, Sparkle Darkle Sunshine. <laughs> 
Arky, please roll me 66 again. Twenty six, and one of those yeah. was one of those was a six. Okay, only one of them. And yeah, it's not a critical. Damn. <laughs> this some... Oh yeah, we changed the Pathfinder rule. We made it how we do it for D and D for crits. This is. I think that the, you've uh, completely gotten out these guys' uh, hit points. One attack. Let me see, let me see, let me see real quick. Yeah, this is in the file, but I'm trying to avoid switching my screen over. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, boom, boom, and uh, even with their body armor, fire, uh, fire, fire. Uh, they took uh, enough of those uh, twin explosions that they just uh, laid down in the back of the truck, and they are not getting up. <laughs> and the quarterback is toast. <laughs> Way to go, Blanco Nino. Too bad your ass got sacked. I never got up from my seat. <laughs> <laughs> that was and fun. Sails across uh, the air, sails across the air, and uh, smacks against the front of the windshield. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wear it around my neck. Oh gosh. Hope he doesn't I have gangrene. I love technology. We need to work on the targeting system a little bit. It, it seemed a little, a, a little shift into the left. Yeah, you could put a. Yeah, you you could always put a scope or a laser point or a laser finder on it. That would help within certain ranges. Okay, the. And then it grounds. I'm just kidding about the shoe around my neck, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's canon now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Dolph Lundgren from uh, Universal Soldier, where he had the ears around his neck from people he's killed. I already did that in one of my games. We should tie the shoe to the turret. We should, <laughs> as a trophy. Mm -hmm. Here's one fucking foot. <laughs> We started okay. in Cyberpunk. We're going to end in Mad Max. Yep. All right. Zara, with um, her uh, speedwear reflexes, I forgot to uh, tell you to add that to your initiative roll. Uh, we'll have to do that next time. What uh, is that? Is able what? to reach up through the moon roof and uh, grab the foot <laughs> and pull it in. And now... And now Zara has the trophy. I'm going to hand it to Red Eye and say, I think this belongs to you. Okay. And that I'm going to roll down my I'm going to roll down the window and puke out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it back and I'll take the foot out of it and chuck the foot on the road and hand the shoe back. Be like, is this better? <laughs> Hey, a lot better. <laughs> there is still a driver in the uh, cab of the truck, but the driver is injured and uh, the truck is no longer drivable. So it just sort of coasts to a stop. Who is your daddy and what does he do? And you left it behind a block ago. <laughs> okay. Because you guys managed to avoid the spike strip and you didn't have to stop for a firefight in the road, uh, you avoided an entire extra scene uh, with the uh, that took place in an alley and involved uh, meeting one of the street gangs, and you arrive at the venue. Wait, wait, wait. Would it have been the Golden Girls? <laughs> Damn, we it couldn't would. run in. 
<laughs> we couldn't run into Sophia? It would? Damn it. Only Why because I'm going to think of it. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm good then. All right. Okay. I was going to be disappointed running it if we didn't get to run into Sophia with a cigar in her mouth. <laughs> Ultimate Sparkles requests that you please take her to the uh, rear entrance. That's in the back of the concert hall. I see you um, like it in the rear, just like cavalry. Okay, uh. the venue security is... Uh, is supposed to meet her there. So you pull into uh, the parking lot, uh, go around to the back. There is a guard shack there, uh, but the security guard is asleep inside the guard shack. Typical. I'm a security guard. I, he works, I know it works with you? <laughs> it never happened I'm to saying me, Jason, but... not you, Scott. I'm sure you're good. <laughs> oh, that's what that, 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 that's what calf is, caffeine is for. <laughs> okay, so there's the security guard, and his name is Scott on his name tag, and he's <laughs> leaned up, and he's leaned up against the uh, window of the guard shack uh, with his eyes closed, and he's drooling down the glass. Can I walk up and punch the glass next to his head? I was going to honk the horn and hope that it had, like, some sort of foghorn type sound. Well, <laughs> you could honk the horn before I could walk to the window, so <laughs> if you're going to honk the horn, I'll let you do it. Oh. Oh. Oh, I was meditating. Sure, buddy. Sure. sure. We've 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 got ultimate sparkle spang dangles in the in the back here. We're we're sparkle dropping darkle, her off for her concert. Sparkle dong, darkle ding dong has gotten here, and uh, we're delivering the football. Ding dong can Is talk it? to you about meditating. We don't give a fuck. Oh, you don't have to lie to me about that. Uh, the concert already started. She's inside backstage somewhere. Uh, she's right there. The liquid shits are inside, you dumb fuck. You were sleeping. I deny that. Uh, we have it on camera. I'll point at Red Eye and say this is the best hacker in the biz. Everything's on camera. So if you want to keep your job, you're going to let us get Sparkle Darkle Ding Dong inside. And you're gonna I turned my agent around, and I said, "This is you. Here's the drool." <laughs> Guard says, oh, "All right, all right. Uh, I'll open the back door for you. Uh, just uh, just park anywhere you like." And he gets out of his guard check, and he pulls up his uh, his duty belt, and he starts slowly walking across the parking lot to these uh, large metal doors in the back of the building. And there is a security camera over the door. And he uses his key card and he swipes it. And he says, Darn thing! And he swipes it again. And he says, Ah, this is supposed to open! And he bangs on the door. And, no wonder they canceled uh. your card. You're already fired. <laughs> now what's going on? Um, <laughs> I left my radio back in the guard shack. I'm going to go try to get someone on the horn and get them to unlock the door for you. And he walks off. So are you guys going to wait for him? No, we're going, going to drive to... up to where the, the door is, so that way we're right there. Okay. All I have is streetwise. This is probably a red-eye deal if we're going to get in. Red-eye, do you happen to have anything that you might be able to do for us? Uh, well, actually, I could, uh, I could try to hack the, the door and open it up, but, uh, you know... We need uh, we need you you to be quiet. 
<laughs> there is a net architecture here uh, for the concert hall, and it looks like um, this door could probably be opened remotely using using that if you decided to net dive. Let's think, net or, dive. Yeah, I don't think we or can trust can sleeping and sleeping to come back. Or you could try stripping the wires and doing it uh, the electrician way. <laughs> Do it the Han Solo way where the, the blast doors close? I don't know if we want cavalry doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Okay, I have basic and tech. Now, uh, all right, red eye. Time for uh, red eye to show off and do a red eye thing. First, give me a pathfinder roll to uh, scan this net architecture and see what's going on. Okay. What? Uh. Um, so I use my interface. Yes, your interface and a D10. And the higher the roll, the more floors you're going to be able to see up and tell what's there. That would be a 13. 13, okay. Yeah, so yeah, that's uh, you get a really good look at uh, uh, three or four uh, floors. It's almost the entire net architecture. You can see that, yes, there's a password block, and uh, beyond that, um, it looks like uh, there are some... Uh, defenses on level two, and then on level three, uh, you've got the control nodes for all of the doors and all the security cameras. Okay. But uh, what's happening on level two? It is there is a nether another net runner there who is prowling around. All right, and so going from, and going from uh, user node to user node to uh, monitor all of those cameras, and with a roll of a thirteen, you can see that this net runner is someone who is decked out for combat and is walking around with a hellhound, black ice following behind her. Okay. Um, so, what do I have to do on level two? You would have to either sneak past her and the black okay. ice, or you would have to take them out. I am going to use one of my new handy dandy programs that I cre picked. I am going to use Deck Crash. Very nice. Okay, first you got to get p through the password on okay. uh, the ground floor level. Now this is all you only have to be at a DV of eight. This is a very basic password. Uh, but when you log in, um, there is in augmented reality the vision of a huge bank vault that uh, that appears in front of you, and it's closed and locked. What'd they do? Who built this? This looks like shit. I bet their password's God. <laughs> or else it's five three four or five four three two one. That was a hacker's <laughs> reference right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Still haven't seen that movie, so that that went right over my head. Okay, is so, uh, give me an interface roll to beat the password. Fifteen. Fifteen. Easily done. Okay, uh, the password wasn't God, uh, but it was, uh, um, a variation of, uh, McCarthy, which is the name of the building. Password? Just yeah, it was just misspelled. And um uh your your cyberdeck uh 
with uh, its uh, uh, quantum circuitry, was able to uh, flash through tens of millions of possible passwords simultaneously and smashed it. And uh, the bank and the bank vault in front of you um, just uh, spins and opens wide up. Gotcha. Just and curious. It reveals, well, hello. And it reveals a virtual staircase that leads up to the next floor of the net architecture. Like shooting yeah, what's... fish in a barrel. Yeah, I've got Jason. a... I've got an electronics security tech skill, and it says times two next to it. What what okay. do, what does that mean? The times two means you have to pay twice as many uh, improvement points in order to improve it. Okay, okay. That was I that I I didn't think it was like I was like super duper d skilled in that, and it like whatever I rolled was times two. That that didn't make sense. So. I just was just curious. I appreciate the okay. <laughs> the clarification on that. So, uh, Red Eye is going to uh, attack this net runner. Correct. Yep, using debt crash. Okay. Let's do this uh, initiative roll: net runner versus net runner. That's a ten sider plus your uh interface plus your bone your two point bonus from Speedy Gonzalez if that's one of the programs that you have loaded up. Okay. So it's D ten plus interface? Yes. Plus the bonus. If you, if Speedy Gonzalez is one of the programs that you have slotted up, then yes, plus the bonus, which is two points. Okay, so that would be seventeen. How? <laughs> you said it. Oh nope, sorry. 13, 15, my bad. I, I added the wrong number. <laughs> okay, that's still very impressive. All right. Uh, you, you only had to beat a seven. Uh, Sorry, so, I, used, okay, I put my beat, reflex instead of my interface. Okay, you beat the other net runner, and now I guess to roll for the black ice, the hellhound... Which you can now see, uh, Rez is uh, in front of you, is a huge black metal wolf. Its eyes glow white, and fire erupts in ripples all over its body. I want to steal him. <laughs> and, okay, uh, the hellhound goes on an eight, so you beat both of them. Okay. You and Red Eye gets uh the first blow here. So with the deck crash it says forcibly jacks out an opponent net runner. Then that yes. net runner suffers effects of all opposing black ice in the architecture. Yep. You are going to need an attack to make an attack roll though. So that's uh, just your interface in a D10. Seven. Against five. Okay, it lands. All right. <laughs> Enemy Netrunner is forcibly and unsafely jacked out of the architecture, suffering the effects of all res enemy black ice that they've encountered in the architecture as they leave. Now, is... I didn't ask you, but do you have a black ice slotted in your cyber deck that you brought with you? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I have black ice that that destroys black ice. The asp. 
Okay. I have the asp and I have the sword. All right. Well, uh, the asp is the one that's go that gets off the uh, free effect here. Uh, destroys a single program installed on the enemy Netrunner cyber deck at random. Describe how your asp destroys the Hellhound. So it's a Titanoboa, right? Yes. Yes, it is. So this motherfucker wraps around the Hellhound and then eats his head. It's and tragic it. that your teammates are not seeing this. And rips it off. Rips it off its its body. There is an epic monster battle happening in the parking lot right now. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. He's just kind of sitting yeah. there in a. And I just want to say when the before the net runner gets jacked out, I go like this. <laughs> Gouts of flame are spraying like blood all over the blacktop and the parked car and the parked cars out here. All of the and um uh the body of the hellhound is flung against the side of the liquid shit's touring van. And then it derezzes into ones and zeros. But still somehow howls in pain. <laughs> and the Titanoboa roars. Are you not entertained? Yeah. <laughs> and Zara and uh <laughs> and Cavalry are uh just um seeing red eye shouting, Are you not entertained at no one? <laughs> I'll kind of cock my eyebrow at him and say, or at her, and say, no, we're bored. <laughs> oh. Something exciting must have happened. <laughs> yeah, I just fucking ripped a guy out of the net, and I killed his fucking ass. Okay, Red Eye has taken control of the net architecture, because there's no one left to oppose him now. Um, <laughs> Red Eye can, uh, uh, create her own rules for the net architecture until somebody uh, comes along later and reboots the whole thing. And Red Eye has control of all of the doors and all the security cameras in the building. All right, I unlock the door. All right, click. Um, I want you the elevators... The when they get in the elevator, if anybody gets in the elevators, I wanted to say, you're a dumb fucker. All the way up, every floor. <laughs> floor three. <laughs> floor three, you dumb fucker. Floor four, you dumb fucker. <clears throat> floor five, you dumb fucker. In a, in a cheerful voice. Normally yeah. that would be a roll, but I find it amusing, so... Um, <laughs> it works. <laughs> All right. What what kind of voice should we give it? Australian, <laughs> British, British, Irish, Scottish, you are British. Now, are... You are now going to floor five, you dumb cunt. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to skip a floor though and say, "Oops, sorry." <laughs> oh, we appear to be at floor six. You dumb shit. <laughs> All right. So I've opened the door before Scotty to Hottie gets back. <laughs> okay. You open the door and you can hear the distant uh, rumbling of the liquid schlitz playing um, somewhere else in the building, and you're looking down a dark hallway. And Ultimate Spark says, Oh, yeah, this is the roadies' entrance. Um, the uh, dressing rooms and the backstage, they're at the far end. You have to go through the practice stage to get there. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. This is the path of our destiny. Oh, God. Shh. 
Sure. How very fortunate that you've come upon this path. How about we surround her to keep her safe and I'll follow so at least I can see the best side of her. Can I turn the lights on? Yes. I, I, I'm more than happy to take the front so I don't have to see her. <laughs> I want to turn the lights on in the hall. Okay. You got the lights turned on in the hall. All right, you have... Oh, okay, uh, the lights come up. Um, uh, there's a, uh, roadie who was, uh, smoking, uh, something, uh, that was rolled, that, uh, was rolled up, and he, uh, quickly puts it out, uh, when he sees somebody coming. No, you can light that back up, we don't care about you. Hey, puff puff pass, bro! Oh, 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 okay. All right, he takes out another joint. Oh, wait, Lies Red that? Eye's here. Or, er, Cavalry's here. <laughs> Cavalry was drunk huh? at the beginning of this job, therefore he can't say shit. I'm looking you for more coffee. Are you? Can't, can't be judgmental. You, got, you have to tell me if you're cops. It's the law. He's barely a cop. It's fine. <laughs> Them's fighting words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on duty. I'll whisper to Calvary and be like, don't take offense, I'm just trying to get past this dude. Okay, um, Ultimate Sparkles, uh, stops to, uh, clean his aura for him. This chick is weird. I'm just gonna <laughs> shake my head. Okay. Says, Say glitter oh. cheeks. It's time to go. <laughs> glitter cheeks. Supposed to be on stage. That's and... a that's a name for a character. <laughs> and he says, <laughs> "I have been very stressed out today, and the abrupt violence that I witnessed here is just oh uh, it I cannot even." Um, and she me either, girl. Yo, the violence was to keep you safe, so maybe tone it down a bit and say thanks. <laughs> By the way, can I get your number? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Well, that's how it is. Uh, give me a conversation roll. That's going to be low. Genius. <laughs> she don't have she don't have enough uh, cybernetics for me. Conversation. Yeah, I, I think that it's cool plus your conversation skill. Nine plus my we'll cool. We'll have a conversation skill. That's fifteen. Oh no. Okay, conversation is six, and I rolled a three, so that's a nine. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't enough. very uh, suave about it. <laughs> Hey, baby. You were not. Um, give me but, your, give me your digits, even bitch. She doesn't want to, even though she doesn't want to admit it. She, uh, she does know in the back of her, back of her head that you were right. So, uh, yeah, uh, you get her contact info. If Score. You're stressed. I know something that can calm you down, and I also know what to put in your mouth to shut you up. <laughs> And your agent reports, I got the digits, babe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Red Eye just keeps walking. <laughs> I just kind of okay, look over, Red shake Eye my head. It's like, can can we get moving, please? <laughs> don't don't clip that. <laughs> All right, oh, red eye. <laughs> uh, red eye, give me a perception roll. Just You're the kidding, first to reach the that. end of the end of the hallway. Say that again. I'm sorry. Perception roll. Perception. Please. Oh shit. 
You only have to beat an eleven. Oh. This is one of my one of my skills. Uh fourteen. Fourteen. Adequate. Um yeah, uh you're able to peer into uh the next room. It's a large room. I posted a little battle map in the uh Discord section, but uh not really uh that important for you to see. Uh you're looking at the practice stage and there are uh three men in the same matching black t-shirt as you saw the guys wearing in the pickup truck. They're standing on the main stage. They are armed and there is a woman who is uh tied up with zip ties sitting in a chair on the stage. I'm not here to kink shame, but damn. Oh, shoot. I'm losing my phone. I gotta switch. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, no! Technical difficulties on floor eight. You dumb shit. (laughs) (laughs) Our screens are messed up. You're gonna have to deal with it for a moment. (laughs) Twitch, we love you. Thank you for dealing with it. Oh, shit. Testing, testing. Does anyone hear me? Ooh, that's rough. (laughs) That's rough, Scott. Yeah. Oh. Do you want us to go to break? Um... Yes. Okay, we'll be uh, right back. Five minute guys. break. Thank okay. you. Okay. Hold on. Let me mute things. You guys are good.
And we're back. Okay, we possibly have uh, one more fight to resolve tonight. Um, you found the bad guys. Uh, you all you previously found a net runner who or who probably not supposed to be there. And was probably not part of the standard security for the facility. Uh, the back door was definitely not supposed to be locked to you. And now, um, there seems to be a hostage situation on the practice stage. But only Red Eye has discovered this. So, how does Red Eye report this? All right, so I calmly yes. say to, they don't know I'm in the room, right? They do not. All right, so I whisper into the comms to Zara and uh, Cavalry that... There's fucking a hostage situation going on on the stage right now. Who's being held hostage? Do I have to whisper? No, I have to because I don't want them to know I'm in here. <laughs> Who's being held hostage? Do we care? I mean, do we get paid to save them? There's a bunch of people zip tied. I don't know who they are, but they they look like they're important. Can you send me a picture? <laughs> we can ask uh, Princess Glitter Sparkles to let us know if she knows them. Yeah, hold on. I take the picture and I send it. If that's okay with Scott. All right, and your agent reports. All right. <laughs> <laughs> one, one picture. Hostage situation coming up. Do you want me to add explosions? Do you want me to add explosions, Mr. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> uh, no, just send the picture! Red Eye, you should have known to turn that off. You're the oh. runner. <laughs> okay, the... <laughs> um, so, on the other two agents, uh, this image pops up, and uh, Ultimate Sparkles, who is kind of shoulder surfing, off of Zara, uh, looks at the image and she says, Oh, no, that's Lillian. Oh, Lillian. dear. She's my personal assistant. Oh, so we don't care. <laughs> See, Red Eye's not used to being the one who, who comes across this <laughs> shit. She's always hidden up in a <laughs> building somewhere. <laughs> I'm assuming that when I say we don't care, she's probably like, yes, we do care. This, oh, this is no time to joke, though. I'm not joking. Do, I get, my... do I get paid to Whoa. say I am? She's like a daughter to me. Oh, dear Lillian, you won't get paid if you don't. Okay. But I'll see to it. That's extra bodies we have to keep safe. Therefore, on top of our 7,000 eddies, what else are we going to get? He says, oh, oh, very well. I'll double it. Okay. Let's come Boom. up with a plan, Your team. Deal. <laughs> uh, first, I'm, I'm Red Eye's going to gonna shit her pants <laughs> and then try to find a different hiding spot. <laughs> okay. Oh, Red Eye. <laughs> so a I'm red charging, eye is... I'm, I'm charging sparkle darkle ding dong for the cleaning <laughs> how many people are there and how many hostages red eye is stealthing forward it sounds like uh, three gunmen and one hostage although red eye said uh, plural I think that she was being dramatic <laughs> Because I like to be dramatic. Hmm. So if 
Hey, Red Eye, can you give me a clear overview of this situation? Because my thoughts are to take out the one person that may be near the personal assistant, and then we would have more time to deal with the other two. Hold on, I'm still shitting my pants. <laughs> They're going <laughs> to smell that, Red Eye. You need to wrangle it in. <laughs> Suck it back I gotta, up. <laughs> I got I to gotta pinch it off. <laughs> Oh, God, this is going to hurt in the morning. <laughs> oh. All right, so I'm assuming there would be cameras pointed, because they're on the stage, right? Yep, they are on the practice stage. And I have control of the whole building. With cameras and floodlights, yep. So... How can I do this dramatically? I'm going to cut the lights. And one spotlight's going to be on the stage. Okay. And I'm going to point the camera directly at the stage. <laughs> Is the, that good enough? And the Blade song starts playing. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, we know what Red Eye wants to do. What does Calvary want to do in this situation? I have my assault rifle. Yep. Out, trained, and okay. by the time I get up to where he's at, I'm going... Thing. Was that? Yes, again. I said, you, and you can feel your finger. Oh, good! Yes, again. Good! <laughs> <laughs> So I, I, I come, uh, I'm going to come up to where I'm just assuming Red Eye's at, and I'm going to train my assault rifle on the... Okay. I cannot quite... The, I'm, I'm, the one that's uh, probably close, furthest away from the hostage, but yet that's uh, closest to the front. And I'm going to okay. aim... This may do do me in, but I'm gonna call do a head, called headshot. So, <laughs> all aim, right, aim, aim, don't aiming forget for the head. You have luck. So, don't forget you have luck points. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, if you land a headshot, they are not wearing body armor on their heads. Uh, that will be uh, double damage. Now, Zara, as, as what is the winning strat Jason? here? I want to <laughs> attempt to stealth in and try to take out the one that may be nearest the hostage. Okay. Thinking that anyone else around, we'd have more time to get to. But the one nearest the hostage has more opportunity to hurt her. All right. Uh, this sounds like uh, three stealth rolls I'm going to call for. This is a skill. It is a dex skill. So it's dexterity based. You're going to roll a tensider. Plus dex plus stealth. Against their perception. Well, and I'm only going to roll once. For these dex guys. is already in here for my total, right? Correct. That is a 19. Ooh. I want that one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I hear a lot of giggling. 17. Okay. I rolled Ooh. a 10. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, too, got a 17. Holy smokes. I have high stealth. Okay. I have high stealth because I'm All a right. net runner. I said that I would roll for one of these guys, and I rolled a one. <laughs> so I'm now subtracting my second ten cider, and I rolled a nine. So uh, uh, they have a perception of total of zero. 
They're oblivious. Your high rolls were <laughs> utterly wasted. <laughs> I'll take Damn it. it. Yeah. I never I'll still take it. I'll take it. So that's a win in my book. Yeah, they're, they're jamming out to the liquid shits. That's, what, <laughs> that's what's going on. <laughs> they're saying, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're playing that one for the third time. It always sounds best on the third time. <laughs> I thought we loved the liquid shits. Don't make them lame. <laughs> we do love the liquid shits. They're the best band that never existed. <laughs> True. So I'm um, going to... Uh, okay, so they're jamming out to the liquid shits, and they're also probably a little drunk themselves. So, uh... Uh... Initiative rolls, and I'm not even going to roll for initiative for these uh, for the bad guys. I just want to know which of you three goes first. And Shannon, uh, you add two points to your initiative roll because of your cybernetics every time. that boost your reflex speed. Yep, yeah, every time. Every time that we remember to do it. Plus two, so... If we forget then the cyberware malfunctions and it doesn't work. 13. 13. Are we for initiative again? Uh, reflex. Your reflex. reflex. Reflex, that's right. Okay. So 14 for me. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. I'm doing this completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, my reflex is better. So I have Whoa. 14. Okay. And Red Eye? 13. 13. So okay, I, I think the channel. The last roll, I um, screwed myself over, so. Understood. Okay, uh. Zara goes first. Hmm. Well, I want She's to shoot the one to this closest to the hostage with my bow. I'm not okay. doing a called shot. Yeah, and you guys have gotten did so well with your stealth. I mean, uh, you could crawl inside their pants before you attack. <laughs> it was a, so this is it archery, was, archery plus a D10. You can place yourselves anywhere in relation to the other characters you want. Take your time. <laughs> I got a 23 in archery. Is that correct? Um, what did you roll on the dice? Eight. Eight? Yeah, that sounds correct. <laughs> okay, so that's a 4d6 damage. Yeah, it, yeah, we built uh, that character to be very accurate with her bow. Um, yes. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Archery skill plus one, so it was an ad another one to hit. I got okay. 10, 16, 17 damage. Oh, yeah, because of your scope. All right. Okay, 17 damage. All right. Tell me he explodes uh, all over the hostage. No, no, uh, his armor did soak up some of that. Uh, did you roll any sixes on that 4d6? Two of them. Two of them! That is a critical hit. Okay, so that's one extra point of damage right there. 18. And you're going to roll on the critical hit table. Is that a oh. 10 or a 6? I'm trying to remember. Lo siento. Uh, critical hit to body. Body. It is two d six. Okay. Roll two six siders. You want total or the number on each? The total, please. Oh Jesus, that's eleven. Eleven. Who the fuck am I? Crushed. <laughs> Crushed fingers. Right? Minus four to all actions involving that hand. So your bolt, it uh, goes in uh, through the abdomen, um, squeezes in between uh, the armor, 
the armor plates, comes out the other side, and shears off a couple of fingers. Nice. nice. I like money. <laughs> <laughs> money, money, money. Money! And that character will be taking a four-point penalty to all uh, subsequent uh, action rolls. Um, okay, I think that it's Cavalry next. Okay, and you're going for a headshot. Yeah. All right. Yeah, shit. Okay. <sighs> and I said that, um, you guys could position yourselves wherever you want. Uh, the optimal, uh, distance... Uh, for you to shoot with an assault rifle is 26 to 50 yards. I don't know that the room is that big. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, we'll say that it can be. I was going to say, if I, 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 I figured it would be somewhat close if I stayed towards the entrance. Yeah. Okay, you might have to take a half step out backwards into the hallway. <laughs> uh, but you can find optimal range, and uh, you only have to beat a DV of 13 this way. But you take an 8-point penalty to your roll, because this is a call shot for the head. What's the roll? What's the roll? Don't keep us in suspense, brother. <laughs> I think I'm the audience you... for a second. Up to 14. 14. <laughs> okay. 14. Is that before <laughs> or after you took the penalty for the headshot? That, that, that was after I took the eight, eight point penalty. Okay. You, all, you had to beat a 13. <laughs> You rolled a 14. You land the headshot. So this is going to do double damage. Um, roll, your, roll your damage, and then we're going to multiply it by two. Seventeen times so thirty-four and two sixes. <laughs> okay, for the first time we are rolling on the critical injuries to the head table. <laughs> I'm glad you're not playing Jason. Saturday. <laughs> somebody gets an exploded bad guy on the victim, I will be a happy girl. <laughs> Please, I think it's happening right now. Uh, please roll me 2d6. <laughs> Two six-siders for cavalry. A six and a three. So okay, nine. nine. Oh, this is appropriate. A cracked skull. <laughs> Aim shots to your head. Multiply the damage that gets through your um, stopping power. I mean, the armor. By three instead of two. Base death save penalty is increased by one. Which is a... In other words, it's a concussion. <laughs> On top of all of the hit point damage that you did, which, because it's a critical, goes up to 35. And... Yeah, he's dead. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! I was like, he had 35 hit points. A concussion, that's it? I was so disappointed for a second. <laughs> well, you concussed a guy who's dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the concussion but, just shut his brain off. <laughs> yeah, you get the concussion plus one additional hit point of damage, and that one hit point was enough to bring him down. <laughs> so you needed every oh, hit point. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Red Eye was able to sneak to the 
uh, stage controls, and you said that you were going to turn off the lights? Yep. Okay. They're in darkness now. And, uh, but that's not your entire turn. You can make an attack if you want. That was just your move. So the lights are off, but there's a spotlight on all of the three of the guys. Was what it was. Oh, okay. Then that's um, what it is. I'm going to call my shot and Dirty Harry the last fucker. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta oh, ask God. yourself. The one I hit is not dead. There's two left, right? Yeah, the That's one that you hit, he's just... Uh, he's not going to be doing a lot of fighting unless he's got some weapons in his legs. Which you never know. But. Powerful handgun in the world. It can blow your head clean off. And you got to okay. ask yourself one question. Do you feel lucky? <laughs> well, do you, punk? We'll do you, punk. <laughs> okay, we're going to say that from the uh, table with the stage controls to the stage is going to be 15 yards. So your DB is going to be a 20. Oh, shit. Okay, well, the good thing is, is I got the epic handgun uh, stat, so that'll help. Yep. So what do I roll a d10? Yeah. D10. You add your weapon skill and your and that is reflex based. So it's going to be reflex plus however many points you put into the weapon skill and your tensider. Twenty two. That's a hit. I rolled a oh. three, three on the ten. <laughs> wow. uh, was, was this a cold shot? No. We're shooting for the head. Okay. All right. Roll damage then. Let's see if we can get a third critical hit. <laughs> no pressure. None whatsoever. Oh. I'm having a hard time adding here. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I kept you up a little late. We'll be wrapped so, up in five minutes. 12 points of damage. Okay. That gets through the armor. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, both of the two uh, surviving uh, gunmen uh, drop to their knees and uh, toss their weapons away. Because people are uh, shooting them up from the dark. They uh, want. One of the three of them is dead, and uh, the other two are wounded. They know they're not winning this fight. <laughs> I think we should finish them. Finish them! <laughs> For the simple fact that they're going to heal and, and go back to doing stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in other words, you're going to enact Darwin on them. <laughs> Play Not stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> okay, it sounds like uh, the, it's unanimous then. Sorry, I, I, I'm just I'm, I'm going to just uh, 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 ch check check my bolt and 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 uh, receiver and everything, so that way I don't see what they're doing. <laughs> Plausible deniability. <laughs> Is uh, Princess Moonbeams gonna stop us? <laughs> uh, she is um, hiding from back in the hallway. Uh, she's she's flighty, but she has enough common sense to not wander into the gunfight. Okay, uh, before we start murdering 
helpless people. I think we should untie the assistant and send her on her way. That's a good idea. Because if we traumatize okay. her more, we might not get paid. Right. All right. So Azara uh, pulls out uh, her big, nasty-looking uh, combat knife, uh, cuts the uh, uh, this uh, little uh, middle-aged woman free, and the little middle-aged... And then uh, Ultimate Sparkles uh, comes running up and says, Oh, Liliana, I was so worried about you. Yo, but uh, your spirit shone Sugar through tits. the... Get her out of here. Yeah, Sugar Buns, you're going to want to get her out of here for about five minutes. That's all the time we're going to need. Yeah, we, 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 we need to get you to the thing. So I'll, I'll take point. You two follow me. Zara, Red Eye, you, you take you take the rear. Watch these guys. Make sure that they don't all of a sudden pull a, a, a weapon from underneath their coat or from their belt or anything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. That's, that's what we're going to do. Liliana says, no. I am not going the fuck with you, or you, or you, or you. And then she points at Ultimate Sparkles and says, and especially not you, you hippie shippy. Plot twist. <laughs> Whoa. It was so Boner bad. Breath. Hey, you Liliana, can I get your number? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> this is not what I signed the fuck up for! Fuck you deeply and vigorously! <laughs> I love her! <laughs> when you calm you, down, you wanna, find me. You I want a spot you. on our? You want a spot on our crew? I'm out. No, I am out. Peace out, Girl Scout. Hey, she storms off, and Ultimate that, Sparkle right? says, Oh, Liliana! We still, oh. we still get paid for that, right? You're my sister. She was like a sister to me. And now she she's dead to me. I thought she was, like she was a daughter. daughter. You. Sounds weird with this chick, man. A sister-daughter. Sister daughter. Okay, well, we're still going to require that her, her, double her, her, payment her. to save your sister daughter who wants you to deeply and vigorously Red eyes trying Red eyes Red eyes trying to fix the the family tree here to figure out how it's a sister daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you have to kind of cross both fingers and <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> but I but I've lost the most important person in my life i'm now spiritually poor i know how sister daughter would work but i don't want to put that into words <laughs> right <laughs> thor, thor said something in the chat <laughs> oh, I it. anyway are we still gonna anyways kill these guys? yep you better get sparkle mcdarkle <laughs> dinglehorfer to the stage uh, All right, let's go. Open the sparkles. The let's get until going. Get Fourteen thousand eddies apiece. <laughs> I'll be holding her hostage next. Okay, then. <laughs> She's got to see me put a slug in this guy's head. Then. Uh, okay. Well. Do you uh, escort? Ultimate Sparkle sees that, and then she says, "Yes, fourteen thousand each." Okay. Good. Great. <laughs> No problem. Persuasion works. And I said, I said "You've earned it." <laughs> All right. Uh, I hope to be okay. hearing from you later, sweet cheeks. <laughs> and she says, "Um, uh, you can collect. Uh, you can collect your money from uh, the box office." It's at the far end of the building, and I need to get on stage right now. Bye, sugar tits. Bye. Good luck. Have fun. I'll wink at her and say, see you later, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ultimate Sparkles, uh, she puts on her game face, 
and um, she uh, struts out onto uh, the main onto the main stage. Uh, just as the liquid slits are coming off the stage, and they look exhausted because they were playing their uh, uh, a much longer set than they thought that they were going to play, <laughs> and they're old dudes. But as they're coming off, she's going on, and she gives no indication whatsoever that uh, sh uh, uh, people tried to kill her twice within the last hour. I don't think she's <laughs> all there. <laughs> nope. Or she's got the good expensive drugs. Yep. <laughs> all right. Are you guys doing anything with the bodies? I don't see at any all. reason or to. Or you just... If we're getting paid, no matter what, it's up to them, because I'm Zara's not going to do shit with them. I want to take their their shoes and put it on my cannon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you... are, are, are there weapons upgrades to our to any of ours at all? Uh no, they were using um fairly stand standard uh medium submachine guns it might be something right. you don't have yet but uh it is not an upgrade right. to what you have and uh red eye gets six combat boots yeah and as red eye is going through uh these combat boots uh she notices that a one of them was carrying a cyber deck so this is the same net runner that you kicked out of the net architecture earlier. Ooh. So you get a small cyber deck. It's not quite as nice as yours, but it is a backup. I'll get you a description of your uh, looted cyber deck. Is uh, cavalry doing anything anything with the bodies? I am going to be looking for ID. Mm -hmm. Checking the wallets for cash or credit uh, chips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Glad. Sorry, I think we're rubbing off on him. <laughs> Good. They do have their IDs. These guys are all uh, former military. Um, they were working for a um, small mercenary company that you've never even heard of before. Something called uh, Red Shield, and uh, but you have their names, you have their IDs, and you have uh, all three of their agents. Nice. And um, since you have uh, the uh, security electronic skill, you could probably. Um, break into one of these agents. Or if you can't, then Red Eye probably can. If you decide to do that. Or you could just sell them. Yeah, we'll 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 we'll, we'll wait till we get home in a more secure location to, to do that. <laughs> okay. Are you sticking around for the show? I don't care. You want to listen to the concert? I'm be tired you know. now. I, I'm be tired. I need to clean my weapon. <laughs> okay. I already, <laughs> I already missed the best part of the show, saving her dumb ass, so I'm not happy. As long as I got paid, I'm leaving. All right. You, uh, speaking of getting paid, um, Harold is uh, coming in through the back door as you guys are going out. And uh, he arrived with a briefcase full of cash, and he's being flanked um, by four uh, hired guns from the Danger Gal Detective Agency. So these four hot chicks, uh, two of them have cat ears, show up, and they've got uh, katanas, they've got light tattoos, they've, they've got the look They've got the fashion look down. They, they're looking tight. I need to upgrade my wardrobe. 
And uh, Harold is now wearing a wetsuit. <laughs> I started that. I started that. <laughs> yeah, he's never going to believe that. <laughs> so, but he does. Uh, but he does show up with a briefcase uh, full of cash, and he says, "All right, there are uh, three of you. Uh, so, um, uh, the cost." That we agreed on was uh se was seven thousand each. Here is your uh -uh. twenty one thousand uh -uh. eddies. Plus stop. stop. Your I know, I know. You wanted a tip. No, 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 no. Stop. Let me talk. Are you done talking? It's my turn. Uh oh. <laughs> Sparkle Motion told us <laughs> if we saved Lillian, her personal assistant, we would get double pay, and we did so. So it's fourteen thousand each. Save for personal assistant from who? There were what are you talking about? There were three henchmen who tied her up. And granted, See those after guys we up saved on the page? her, she told us to get deeply, violently fucked. But that's besides the point. Sparkles would never have said that to you. She said it's not in her us. nature. Do we have recording on the uh, handheld there, Red Eye? Liliana said that to us. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Liliana would definitely say that. <laughs> but Sparkle Motion told us she would pay us double. I pull it up. I pull it up. I asked you to drive her to the venue. We did. What is all of this? Liliana and uh, henchmen that you're talking about. If we did not save Liliana from the henchmen, the henchmen would have countercepted whatever sparkle motion on the way to the main stage on the practice stage. Therefore, her promise tip <laughs> is in the deal we made. Sounded good to me. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to feel. I'm. I'm feeling queasy. I. I should not have. I should not have wetted the suit before coming here. <laughs> Did you Did naturally oh. wet the suit? <laughs> I can make you naturally wet that suit. We're being civil. Says, Please oh, don't make us no, not. No, all right. Now, now, Zara, to 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 be ah, uh, or to 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 be fair to him, she probably didn't have time to let him know about our uh, prearranged uh, addended agreement. That's Plus, she said that we could collect it from the the box office box office booth. Well, if he that's says, the all case, right. hippopotamus needs to come to the box office with us. To the hot box. The hot box. He says, all right, all right, I'll write you a check. Cash money. Cash, baby. Cash or instant deposit. That's what's in the briefcase. I just handed it to you. No, we need double the cash now. We'll take, we'll take the 7,000 off of you, the 21,000 eddies off of you, and then you're going to walk your happy ass to the box office <laughs> and get us $21,000 more. And he said, all right, all right, let's go to the manager's office. It's this way. So he and his bodyguards, they go to the manager's office. And uh, the manager is, um, is uh, and uh, some of his uh, ushers are uh, in the office are in the office, uh, wanging on computers and say, why don't any of the security cameras work? I haven't seen, been able to see anything since the concert started. It must have been that smoke machine that Liquid sh Shits brought in here. That ancient smoke machine. <laughs> Dry ice froze the cables. <laughs> Hey Red Eye, do you think you might be able to help them out on that? Meanwhile, the guard. Meanwhile, the guard uh, uh, you saw outside is still on the radio asking for somebody to come and unlock the door for him. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, hippopotamus, you 
Rodimus, you need to maybe think about the staff that are being hired at this event because that's the whole reason henchmen stole the assistant. Once I get my $7,000 in my hand, put that shit in my hand. If that money doesn't show, I'm going to blow you, blow you away. Okay, so uh, they do uh, office open the box office till for you. Uh, Harold and uh, the ma and the venue manager of the McCarthy Center uh, work uh, negotiating an agreement very quickly, and they count out um, uh, all of the money that's owed to you. They put it in a plastic uh, souvenir bag. And they hand it to Zara. I run. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, it, I press hey, Red Eye? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, are you gonna be, are you going to be able to help them out with their video screen since they seem to not have any? I mean, it's in, you are a, a tech guru, so you might be able to help them out. Is the money secure? I guess so. Say you, you can even maybe even charge for your services on getting the cameras back online for them. Nah, I don't want to. I'm done negotiating. <laughs> <laughs> and I press the U and the F button on the keyboard, and it unfucks it. <laughs> okay. And uh, then the usher say, "Oh my God, there are dead bodies backstage. Are those Where'd real dead bodies? From? Where the hell did they come from? Yeah, where did they come from? I don't recognize those guys. I don't know. We're out. They're not our guys. You guys have a little problem on your hands. Uh, you might want to. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe they're part of some group called like the Asian Dawn or something like that." <laughs> 7,000 more eddies to care <laughs> uh, they're not paying that <laughs> alright <laughs> okay so uh, dang the danger gal operatives officially relieve you and you are off for the night you've been paid um, your limo is still waiting out back you can go wherever you want. I'll uh, go home. Is Officer Navarro going to uh, report this at all? And if so, how is he going to report it? And is Red Eye going to try and crack open one of these agents? Find out what's inside. Sure. Hint, hint. hint. <laughs> nope, I'm not. I'm not reporting it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna crack open the cyber deck. I figured uh, I'm off duty. Right. This is. I was paid to do job. <laughs> <laughs> this is a. Um. This is a security slash electronics role. Uh, you're going to need to roll at least a 15. Hold on, I gotta find my and electronics. You got three agents, so you got yes. <laughs> nice. That's a 19. Okay. Um, You get in. Uh, these are uh, hired mercenaries, and uh, you're able to. Uh, just so happens that the agent that you opened was the commander of this particular platoon. Um, he was taking uh, his orders from the owner of the security agent of the security company, the uh, the mercenary group, and uh, their contractor was Worldcom. Worldcom wanted Ultimate Sparkles dead. 
I, uh, and they wanted it to happen tonight before the end of the concert. I, uh, quickly send that to cavalry. This was on the this was on the cyber deck. Um, do you want to forward that to uh, Mr. Harry Heifer? Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus heifer face. <laughs> Hippotanonymous. Hippopotanonymous. <laughs> yep. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip a little hip a uh, hippopotamus. <laughs> All right. I forwarded it to Hippolotomotamus. <laughs> FYI, thought you might want to know. <laughs> While your agent complains, uh, your contact list is a mess. You've got like uh, <laughs> a half dozen nicknames for every person in here. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Uh, we're going to have to reorganize that, huh? <laughs> okay um he's got his hands busy with um nah he doesn't he isn't that busy uh he messages you back that he is uh shocked and he did he knew that worldcom was upset about this pro environmental message that ultimate sparkles was pushing he did not think that they would go this far he thought that the danger was going to be from a stalker or some crazy fan, maybe a music critic. Not her own recording label. So he'll be nullifying that contract uh, before the end of the night. <laughs> Hopefully they have some sort of uh, bad, bad actor, bad faith... Um clauses in there to <laughs> to, to, to bleed world calm dry you can hope all right um everybody receives one more point of reputation you have completed the adventure um you get uh the loot that was already mentioned uh plus three additional um, submachine guns with full ammo clips because none of these guys got a shot off. <laughs> uh, group accomplished most of the mission. Goals well, showing strong cooperative skills. I think that, that best describes your success here. So um, that's going to be another uh, 40 improvement points. Oh, nice. Push 40. Woo! Awesome. All right, and there is all I got. Nice. That was fun. It was. We should do it again <laughs> sometime. <laughs> yeah, uh, special thanks goes out to John John the Wise, who uh, wrote um, this adventure that we just Two ran. Thumbs up, John yep, John the Wise. Up. That was fun. Thanks, John John. <laughs> All right. Okay, do you guys, um, I think that you're still banking your improvement points. Yes. Uh, to spend later. So uh, we don't have to go over how that was spent. Um, we got any questions? And uh, are we going to meet uh, two weeks from now? Uh, before we do or... that, let's close out of Twitch. Okay. All Thank right. Thank you for joining us. It's been Arky. Jason. Shannon, you can find me on Twitch at Ms. Direction with two Zs. Now nah, I'll do a shameless plug too. You can find me at Arky76. <laughs> no shame here. No shame in my game. 
Good night, Twitch. We love All right. you. Bye. And I am Cyberpunk. Good night. Yeah, Cyberpunk. We love, Scott. We're talking. we love Scott too. Bye. We love Scott a lot. <laughs> Bye. Bye.